I feel like Leos do get a bad rep every time. Why? For me, Leos are that regal sign. I mean, they're just so confident. And people, of course, who's insecure, well, they're definitely gonna hate on them. So when I was in my shop, I said, what is the best thing that I can make for the Leo is blue lace agate. If you're a Leo, you're gonna vibe like a Leo, be like a Leo, and you're gonna be like the lioness that you are. We're talking about from Simba to Mufasa. It's available. Check my website right now. Today is the day. One, it's the last day of our fifth year anniversary. And today is the full moon, 23rd, second house for you in Libra. We'll see. Don't get confused. Okay, I'll explain. Um, hmm. Okay. It feels like there, there will be a communication. Okay. We have Mars already has moved in your seventh house, which is a Maraca house for Mars. Now, if Mars is in the seventh, it's a separatist. Mar Mars is actually celibate. It's not like the intimate, no, it's not. You know, Mars is uh, celibate. Venus is pleasure. We have Venus in the seventh, yes, for you. So you're probably on and off with this kind of connection and you feel like you desire it and it's like you don't want to, you want to stay away from it and vice versa because it's the house. The seventh house is shared with you and other people. So if it regards to your romantic connection, then it's complicated, right? Someone loves you, but sometimes you don't and then you love them and then, you know, it's quite confusing with Rahu there also. Mercury is in your seventh house, which adds up, you know, you feel like you're on the losing end, like things does not go to my favor. This is what you're saying here. You got five of ones and the ace of cups. Yep, mm -hmm. this is what you feel. Feels believing. Okay, oh, okay. hold on, I don't know where that come from. Okay, so Virgos, let's see. Okay, I upload here every day. So make sure you check the back-to-back -back readings that I do in the past 12 hours. Okay, so let me see here. Oh, and today's the last day, guys, to get your... For you, I choose the Rose Quartz for a 50-year anniversary evil eye. And this one is actually just for the full moon. So you will see it there. I already packed for the full moon. And if it's still added to your cart, then I still have it. But if it's not, then um, you should, could have ordered in the weekend. Okay, so this one, it gets added if you get your Lucky 7, okay, which is our 50-year anniversary. And your Yellow Sapphire... Yes, which is good for your seventh house for partnership. Okay, um, is the last day. Okay, it's your free yellow sapphire. Okay, let me see here. As the full moon happened in Libra, not in Scorpio. Okay, just in case you guys get confused, it's in Libra. I just look at the sky, and in the sky, the moon is in Libra. It's in your second house. Your food, the people that you love, that cares for you, that supports you, that's the second house. Your money is there also. Eight of Pentacles, your work, 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 work. Oh, so the, li the Libra, the Virgos are just working. Someone wants to work and reconcile with you. Eight of Pentacles, the Temperance, we love. Especially the eight of, Ace of Cups is here. Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is nice. I believe so, right? You have the Justice card. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. This is what's going on here right now. Justice, Eight of Pentacles, Temperance, and the Ace of Cups. I sense here that you're trying to balance the situation, the justice, the eight of pentacles, and the temperance with the ace of cups. Um, you're more about like, um, uh, if it was confusing before because Rahu is there and then Mars is there, uh, now you're just going to make judgment here. Because Mars is, Mars is this, um, uh, it's, it's a graha that has a purpose and it does what is ordered and what is right. Okay. So, with regards to the caste, yeah, I think I believe it's called the caste system of the grahas. The king and queen is the, the moon and the sun, the sun and the moon. And then, you know, the Mars is the general. Okay, Saturn is the servant, you know. And then you have uh, Jupiter and Venus is the, the guru, okay, the wise, basically. So, Mars being the general in the seventh, you know, it's, it's going to do what is right. But with Rahu over there, it's, I don't know if your person is going to play nice, okay, with you. Because they want to take advantage. Someone was because the first card is five ones, and for you, of course, you as a Virgo right now, you're just saying I'm just doing my thing, you know. I'm not trying to cause any kind of harm or trouble or drama. I don't know. Higher is here. You see, you want a stable relationship with Rahu in the seventh. You'll get a relationship, but to, for it to be stable, eight of Pentacles. Well, that's a different story. 
Okay? So that doesn't happen overnight, the stability of the relationship. So understand that uh, Hierophant is here, which is wonderful. We love that, okay? Because that's about a resolution, right? Mm -hmm. Let me see. And there will be the star. is divine timing at work. Now, I would uh, rather see this uh, work not right now, meaning divine time is work, so it is best that it comes through time. And it will work, but not when Mars is in the seventh. And it just, it just sat there, zero degrees. It will take time. So I understand like, oh, you're so excited. Now people, of course, who watch uh, reading, just in case you don't understand how I do my prediction, um, it's like I predict the future for you, not the current. Okay. So if it's going to work out, it's in the future, not anytime soon. I have to look at the plan. Mars does not support in the 7th. When Venus is out, it's also okay. When Mercury is out, when Rahu is the only planet there, we'd rather have one, uh, you know, the, meaning the, the North Node and the South Node, basically Rahu K2, is sitting on its own because it can be very confusing, which what you're having right now with the Five of Wands. So understand that my prediction comes for the future. With the Hierophant, the Star card, uh, the relationship can be solid, but if you're a person who's impatient and you want it ahora mismo, like I want it right now, can't have it. Not right now. You'll make it complicated. Five ones. You guys will argue. Nine of Cups. There you go. Mm. People rush things. People rush things. And if you just sit there and wait for things to manifest as long as you're doing the work, and it's all going to work out. It always does. But only through divine timing, which is a start. Never on our time. There's two kinds of will. God's will and free will. It gets messy when you do your free will. But follow God's will through time, things do work out. Yep, things do work out. And especially with love, it's a cups with a star card. That's why I got you the Rose Quartz Evil Eye for you guys is because this is the time where if we do try, okay, because you have here the uh, Rose Quartz to work the relationship, it will work, okay? The day is the last day if it gets added, like what I mentioned, with your chakra base set and your yellow sapphire that is free. Free shipping in the U.S. and we ship to more than 80 countries across the globe when you get this, Okay. So, okay. Now, these are the seven gemstones that as I use for my manifestation for people who's not familiar. All those three items are free because I'm just in a giving spirit. Ace of Cups with a star card. Your person wants to talk to you. It can be a Leo or a Taurus. I'm seeing that there's a water sign also here with the Six of Pentacles who has been tempting, okay? Trying, kind of like a, trying to talk to you, Six of Pentacles. Wait for things to develop. Anything that is rush, like relationship, driving food fast food is not good right you know not you know shade you know but i from i believe from people's perspective or science it's not healthy right so things do come in time like harvest because this is the the empress right so there's wheat and grain over there you know even food takes time to grow can't have it yet you know a mango that is not ready to be plucked it's not gonna be sweet so same thing as in in life you know, life becomes sweeter as we, as we become more patient and understanding that we do the work. We become the sweet mango. I love sweet mango. I'm craving now. Empress right here with the two of cups. Mm -hmm. So this comes to you. Temperance, the star card, and the hierophant. That's why I know the rose quartz that I'm giving for free really do work. Look at that. Haven't seen this good luck of a, of a Virgo reading about relationship and partnership. Yes. So I gotta go. I'll tag this in a conference video. I go to the mail every day, but we have been experiencing some delay because of huge order for the past weekend. We make thousands, guys. Okay. <laughs> and there's only a few of us here. Okay. I'll be working over time. So check it out. I'll see you guys again tomorrow.